Looking forward to a fantastic opening. And on June 16, we should we should have an even more awesome, awesome game with the United States of America. But my heart figuratively dropped from my chest to my stomach when I heard that the Bwe Power Authority uh, stopped generating power following its announced cuts in generation capacity. But later... I, I was made to understand that it's untrue. So let's get an explanation on this. Wombela Salifu is external and community, community relation, communication relations manager of the Bwepa Authority. Join me via telephone. Thank you very much, Wombela, for your time. Thank you very much. And good morning to uh, you and your cherished listeners. Absolutely. So, Wombela, this is untrue. Uh, how, how is that? It's untrue that Bwe has shut down. Uh, how is that? Uh, Thank you very much again. We, the we generation station has not been shut down. Uh, what, if you recall, in our press release, what we said was that the water level had dropped to around the minimum operating level, and so we're going to reduce the the amount of power we're, we're producing from the station. Uh, so, as I speak to you now, the engineers are monitoring the inflows that we are getting into the reservoir. I and see. If, yeah, so, but let me also explain that the regenerating station has the capacity to produce both active power and then reactive power. And active power is produced when water sends the turbines and we produce power. Absolutely. The reactive power is produced when the turbines are, are spin around on air. And uh, the, the purpose of the reactive power is to boost the voltages in the northern part of the country. Mm. Yes. So, so it, it's not it's not a case that we've shut down. We've not shut down. And uh, so that, that that's what I want. So, so, so what the VRA said is untrue. Uh, I I want to think that the, because the water level has gone so low, and the engineers are monitoring the inflows, the active power. Is currently not being produced, mm. and so to that extent, I want to think that the lo the low production is what has probably led to the the, the news that we shut down, but we've not shut down. But we're supposed to complement with an amount of megawatts. Uh, how many of that megawatt are we are we complementing with to the to to uh, the national grid at this point? No, currently we are running one unit on the uh, on, on the reactive power, mm. and uh, we're producing close about fifty megawatt of of reactive power, and uh, so that that's what is currently happening now. But so, I also want yes. Mm. If you if you are only complementing reactive power to the north of the country, it means that you are not giving the south of the country any 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 form of compliments no it, it, it's not entirely the case you know for for the transmission line when energy is traveling over a long distance they you tend to have a, a fall in, in the amount of voltages and so the reactive power is meant to boost it and more or less restore it to the original voltage that that should be within the transmission okay. system Mumbila, my question is are you given? I understand that you may be given Netco something, but yeah. are you given the VRA anything for those of us who are not on, on the Netco grid? The grid the, the rating station is, is interconnected into the national grid, and so we, whatever happens here, the engineers here do that in conjunction with Gridco, and so it can be entirely the case that. It's just a northern part. I think the reactive power benefits the entire nation. I see. So collectively, with the reactive power, how 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 many uh, megawatts are we generating? Uh, as I speak to you now, we're adding about fifty megawatts, not megawatts, vars, V A R S. I see. I see. I see. And 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 that's you think it's enough? Yes. We it what what we produce depends on what Gridco tells us. If Gridco, in their view, thinks that we should increase it to, to boost the, the, the voltages, then we increase it. Oh, I Alternatively, see. Alternatively, 
we could be told to reduce it and we do accordingly. I, I, I see. But let's, let's talk about the water levels we are concerned about. How bad okay. is it? Uh, we, we're currently around our minimum operating level. And according to the hydrology of the black water, normally within the period of May to June, we tend to get minimal inflows. We expect that if the trend over the year remains the same, from July, August, September, we should have an increase in flow into the reservoir. And if the inflows come in as we expect, then we also to revise its production plan in conjunction with Bitco. Let's see if you can give us some uh, figures as far as the, the, the water level is concerned. Uh, now, I'm, 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 I'm not able to tell you what the current level is. Mm. But what I do know is that we're getting some inflows. Uh, if you have time, let me just explain something more about hydro dams in general. Quick, quickly, though. Yes, the, the, the point is that when, whenever the rainy season comes to an end and you're able to store so much water, the critical thing is you need to put in a plan that will ensure that you judiciously use the water such that the water will last you through the dry season to the commencement of the rainy season in the following year. Mm. And in, in our case, we have done that. But as you know, somewhere last year, May, some energy sources were not available. And so we had to increase our production by two and a half times. And mm. that's what accounted for the fast uh, depletion of the water in the reservoir. Mm. And so it, it, that, that is the, the, the difficulty with, with hydro plants. Mainly, you, you run so fast until you run so that the water runs way below the commencement of the rainy season. Then you need to be patient to allow the rain to commence, mm. and then you have an inflow, and then you can start producing as you used to do when you had a very good right. volume of water in the reservoir. Wombella, well, that's, that's all time will allow uh, us to you know, have. Thank you very much. Pleasure okay, talking to you. Wombella well, Salifu right. is External and Community Relations Manager of the Boy Pa Authority. And so I, it brings me to a very exciting end of uh, News Desk today, June 12, World Cup opening day in Sao Paulo. And <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it you should you should uh, watch me again on news today i missed it there'll be more on the world cup I'm, I'm 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 looking forward to it but well my name is kevini yamani i'm totally grateful for your company i spent too much of the time i wasn't able to read your messages but um, i'm grateful for them and well good morning <laughs>